In this video, we are discussing HDFS writing. We know that HDFS supports write once and read many pattern. So, writing is also very important operation on our HDFS. So, let us discuss this concept with one proper diagram also. So, the writing operation in HDFS. So, writing is another important operation in HDFS. To write in HDFS, at first the client sends requests for the metadata to the name node. We know that in our HDFS architecture, we are having only one name node and multiple data nodes. The data nodes are running with the commodity hardwares, that means the cheap hardwares and the name node is actually the master in the system, the manager in the systems and these are the data nodes are the worker. So, it supports the master worker architecture. So, at first this write request will be will be sent to the respective name node so that it can give the required information that on which data nodes the data are to be written, how many blocks will be there and then which blocks will be going to which data node, how the replication will take place. So, all this detailed information and management will be done by the name node only. So, at first this write operation which will be initiated from one of the HDF client will be accessing the name node for all this metadata and detailing. So, to write in HDFS at first the client sends a request for the metadata to the name node and when the name node responds then it sends a response with the number of blocks, their location and some other detailing. So, these are the information will be coming from the name node against the request sent from the HDF client. So, after getting this information, the client splits the data into multiple different blocks. So, we know that block size is default is 128 MB, the block size can also change. So, after getting all this information from the name node, the client will split its data into multiple different blocks and then start sending it to the data nodes. The client sends the data block with another data node details when one block is received the data nodes create the replica and store them onto the other data nodes. So, the data will be sent to one data node and some other data node detailing will be there in the respective information so that the data can be kept as a replica on the other data node as the information is getting provided. So, in this way the write operation is taking place in our SDFS. So, let us discuss this concept with one proper diagram and you shall be mentioning 7 steps to show you that what are the steps to be followed to perform HDFS write. So, now I think the concept will get clear with this diagram. So, HDF client will put the create request. So, that is a step number 1 to the distributed file system. So, that request will be made available to the name node and name node will provide the required metadata for the writing operation. Then HDF client will divide its data into multiple different chunks in the multiple different parts and now it will produce the write request to this FS data input stream. So, that is our step number 3. So, now the writing packet is coming and also we are getting the acknowledgement and also you can find that pipelines of data nodes are there and here this step number 4 and 5 that is a write packet and acknowledgement are being conveyed between the multiple data nodes because this particular data will get replicated to other nodes also. Then SDF client will put the close that notification will be put and that will be to this FS data input stream. After getting this one, this distributed file system will put the complete will indicate complete to this name node and in this way the SDFS write operation is going to take place as we have explained in seven different steps are there. I think now the conception is getting cleared that how the SDFS write operation is taking place in our Hadoop system. Thanks for watching this video.